This is basically a video explaining pi, so this is pi in a nutshell. Right, once we get pi is basically a symbol representing the number 3.14. However, we use a symbol because these digits are way longer than you think. The decimal digits, 1.1 something. It's just really big, so we use a symbol instead of what we use in the formulas. Pi basically represents the cir a circle's circumference to its diameter. Those are some pretty bi big words that I will explain. The, the, the diameter of a circle is basically the ratio doubled. The ratio is basically the circle's middle to one side. This line here is the ratio. That doubled is the diameter. And the circumference is basically the perimeter of a circle. And the, and we don't call it the perimeter because, well, um, the, peri the definition of perimeter is basically all, four, all the sides of a shape added up. But a circle does not have any each side, so we calculate it in a different way. Basically, what we're gonna do, we're gonna add the, we're gonna add the diameter of a circle, and we're gonna wrap it around um, the circle. So, so let me, so I'm just gonna quickly give you uh, small estimations, approximately. So this is one diameter, this is two diameters, and three diameters almost covers the entire thing, three, but we still have a small portion left left and that's the, and that's this big decimal now 3.141 is basically is basically all you need to know is the circles circumference to its diameter but the decimals are just like way longer than you think to make this this small thing more accurate so instead of writing a bunch of numbers these are not actual the actual digits what we do instead is just use a symbol, and we use a symbol in formulas, like calculating the area of a circle. Anyway, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and now you know what pi is.